Is it proud to make decisions about the future without a sign or kind of go ahead from God? Especially because James says, now listen, you say today or tomorrow we'll go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business and make money. You boast in your arrogant schemes. But here James is not saying don't make plans at all. As we've seen in the New Testament, the apostles often make active plans. For example, in Acts 19, after this had happened, Paul decided to go to Jerusalem. What James is saying is don't make arrogant plans. He says you boast in your arrogant schemes. All such boasting is evil. And the solution to this, James says, is to acknowledge our limitedness and to accept that it is God's will not ours that is in ultimate control. You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes, he says. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that.